Hi everyone, my name is Courtney and I'm a part of the Child Life team at Care Dimensions. And today I'm going to read the book Whimsy's Heavy Things by Julie Kralis and then offer some suggestions to help you release or let go of some of those heavy feelings that might have come up lately. Whimsy's heavy things were weighing her down. She knew she needed to do something, but she wasn't sure what. I will hide them, she said. So Whimsy swept the heavy things under the rug. But she tripped over them when she ran to answer the phone. I will hang them in a tree, she said. So Whimsy hoisted the heavy things onto a branch. But the next time she walked by, the heavy things fell. I will fly them high in the sky for the clouds to swallow, she said. So Whimsy attached the heavy things to her kite. But when a big gust of wind came along, the kite did not move. I will float them to sea, she said. So Whimsy made a boat and placed the heavy things in it. But the heavy thing sank the umbrella, and she stubbed her toe when she went swimming. I will pretend they are not there, she said. So Whimsy went about her day, trying to ignore the heavy things. But she was too weighed down. Her feet and her heart were heavy, her eyes filled with tears. Try as she might, Whimsy just couldn't make the heavy things disappear. Maybe I'm trying to deal with too many heavy things at once, Whimsy said. She took the first heavy thing and looked at it carefully. She had an idea. She could break the heavy things into smaller pieces. So she did. And with the pieces, Whimsy made marbles for her best friend. Whimsy broke up the second heavy thing and planted the pieces in the garden where they grew into a beautiful peach tree. Whimsy used pieces of the third heavy thing to build steps to see over the tallest wall. When Whimsy broke up the fourth heavy thing, she began to feel lighter. So much lighter, she could swim faster than ever. And she kept the pieces of the last heavy thing as a reminder not to get weighed down by the heavy things. Thank you for listening to that book. I hope you found it enjoyable. And just like Whimsy, it's pretty common for kids and adults to hold on to some of those heavy things or big feelings they might be thinking about or feeling. So what I want to do is offer some tips and suggestions to help you release some of those feelings and feel a little bit lighter, just like Whimsy. So my first tip 
is to draw a picture of how you're feeling. Um, you can use all different colors, you can use crayons, you can use markers, you can write about it, um, but then when you're done, ask a parent or a sibling or a caregiver or even a friend if you can show them what you drew. And by doing so, you get to see how your body's feeling. And then my second tip is to practice taking deep breaths. But the breaths that I like to take are different from ordinary breaths. I like to pretend I'm smelling a flower and inhale, and then blowing out a birthday candle and exhaling. Can you give it a try? Maybe try it three, four, or five times and then check in with yourself and see if you're feeling a bit lighter. And then my last tip is to make music with your feelings. And don't worry if you don't have a piano or maraca or drums or any musical instrument at home because I like to take pots and pans from the kitchen and create my own musical instrument. I will say you need to promise to make sure that everyone in your house is okay with the loud noises because it can be very distracting. So those were my tips and I hope you found them helpful and please feel free to reach out to the Child Life team at Care Dimensions if you're seeking some extra support. Thanks and stay safe.